home, so I just wanted to just clean up the property. Yeah, I, um, I, I like everything that you've said, and my, I had some concern that um, I was going to get a bill at the end. Oh, no way. So I'm not too sure if anybody lives here or not, but we're gonna knock on this door and um, see if we can cut this yard. It looks pretty abandoned. It looks pretty dark on the inside. We have a poster here. Um, my lovely poster new over here is a beautiful street with beautiful homes on it. And this one right here is really sticking out like a sore thumb. If y'all are interested in these posters, like they're uh, 13 by 19 inches. If you're interested in these and if you would like for me to add these to the merch please let me know like i really like them um, my printer really prints high quality photos 
professional photos so these are worthy of of being in the merch store and i have a whole bunch of different designs for posters so if you're interested in purchasing purchasing these on the merch site please let me know so i have an idea of what to put on the site all right leave a comment down below for me please Yeah, y'all, this will be fun to cut. This will be fun to cut. They got a beautiful walkway up here leading to the driveway. It's overgrown. It's overgrown. There's a lot of overgrowth on this property. I'm not sure the last time it's been cut. That's crazy. I don't know if the doorbell worked. I'm gonna go to the neighbor. is a little rough and this one will be whew, a bad one it's a lot of uh, sand spurs around the yard so my socks right now whew, my ankles are getting cut up but this yard needs some attention y'all there's lawn care people on both sides of this house and this yard is getting just neglected i'm gonna touch the front yard i didn't even go into the backyard um i just don't want to maybe after i'm done i'll take a peek back there and I'll show y'all, I haven't even seen it yet. That's the crazy part. And usually the back is always worse than the front. So when we're finished with this front side, transforming the front, we're gonna head to the back and see if we can get back there without having to open up a gate or anything. And if we can get back there, and if y'all want me to do it, leave me a comment down below at the end, okay? Let's go ahead and get on to it. We're gonna wait for them to finish up work. We're gonna pop the trunk and we'll go ahead and get to cleaning and cutting up, all right? Let's go.
Where you want me to stand at? Right here? Yeah, you do it right here. We're going to be on my YouTube video. Okay. So look on YouTube for Clean the City. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, have a good day.
In the city, mm -hmm. which you see across my cover all right now. Right. I go around Florida and I help out just homeowners, renters with overgrown properties mm -hmm. because the city is really haggling them right now mm -hmm. and uh, they're giving public nuisance to the, uh, the homeowners and renters and if you don't pay that nuisance in time, um, they send you to court and they, right. they try to take your property. Mm -hmm. I started off doing this because I worked with my best friend. He had a business, a lawn care business. We started seeing a lot of overgrown properties around town so we took one day off during the week to help people out. Right. And that led to us hearing these stories from mm -hmm. people, you know, telling us why they, their grass was as tall as it was. And it touched us, and it touched me to the point where I took it to the extent of making a nonprofit organization. Right. And I document what I do on YouTube because yeah, people I've like to watch you, it. You, you use the, uh, the, the camera, camera, yeah. So what's the name of your YouTube channel? It's called Clean the City. Clean the City. Clean the City. And right. since I can actually get money through Google AdSense and YouTube, I get out here and do work for people for free. I don't charge any money. I just look, I find properties. I'll drive around right. neighborhoods. I find properties and I knock on the door and I try to help folks out. And if I see that the property may be abandoned, I would just cut it, just to cut it. And yeah. it doesn't, the owner doesn't need to know who I am. I'm just out here just trying to keep the community clean right. and keep and keep everything looking good. It's a beautiful home, so I just wanted to just clean up the property. Yeah, I, um, I, I like everything that you've said, and my, I had some concern that um, I was going to get a bill at the end. Oh, no way. Which, nope. which having not agreed upon a price, would yeah, be, yeah. that would be problematic. Yes, sir. Um, um, I don't... I mean, I, I, I used to have lawn service, but because of the way the economy's gone. Yeah, it's kind of uh, crazy. It's just gone back to what I can do. And basically all I can do is uh, is mow and weed whack. Okay. And so all of the all of the edging, all of the uh, clearing out the, uh, the, the trees and the shrub stuff or whatever. Yes, yeah. You know, that stuff that I wouldn't have, um, you know, that I haven't been doing. Right. Um. And so I really, I really appreciate it. Hey, that. no problem, man. I'm so happy that I, like you came because I, I feel good about doing this because I do properties, but when I'm helping actually somebody that lives in the home, it makes me feel better about yeah. doing it. You know, like I, like I said, I was going to clean it regardless, but now I, I feel even better about yeah. knowing that I'm helping you out and with let this. Me... Oh, hey. Hey, how about this? How about this, yo? How about this? So, somebody lives here. Somebody actually lives here. Isn't that crazy? Um, I heard something. Like, I had the music in my ear, but I heard something at the door. And I turned and looked, and um, somebody opened the door. Somebody actually lives here. Um, it's a really, really nice gentleman by the name of Ed that lives here. And, uh... He didn't know what was going on. Um, he said he saw me ring the doorbell when I approached the first time, but he had no idea who I was and he didn't want to come outside, which I understand. Um, it's crazy people out here nowadays, so I totally understand that. But um, I did not know he lived here. I, listen, y'all, I worked here yesterday for a full day and somebody was in that house. Can y'all believe that? I thought it was abandoned and it wasn't abandoned the whole time somebody was inside. So um, Ed said he loves what I've done so far. Um, he wants to. Be, he has a testimony for me. I don't know if he wants me to record it or if he's want want to write it down. But really, really amazing dude, man. He appreciates the work I'm doing, and um, I'm so happy that I'm helping him out.
right, y'all, so we're finished. How did you enjoy that transformation on this video? It's a lot of work for just a front yard, huh? So we did the best we could with this front yard with what we had. My edger, as I told y'all, the edger handle broke, so I couldn't get the nice, crisp edges that I really wanted to get on this yard, but hey, that's life. The thing is, we got the grass down, therefore the city would not be approaching this gentleman. He spoke to me about that and said that he was pretty much thinking the city was going to be at his door any day now, but um, they spared him. So it's good that we went ahead and took care of the job so that he doesn't have to worry about the city at all. But we got the grass down, we did a little bit of trimming, um, we edged it up with the weed eater a little bit. It's not crisp like the edger, but it's better than having overgrown edges like it was before. So we got the work done. I feel really good. It surprised me, this man coming to the door. I thought nobody lived here. So that's the thing, y'all. I do abandoned properties, but this is what could happen. I could do an abandoned property that I think is abandoned, and somebody could be living there. So this place really looked like nobody lived here. <clears throat> and he didn't even approach me the first day I worked here. I worked 12 hours yesterday, and he didn't approach me at all until today. <laughs> So it's crazy, but hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you had a great Halloween. I enjoyed my Halloween. If you were wondering why the premiere was late, it's because I like to live my life. I'm sorry, I like to live my life. Are you gonna get a video at least every eight days? Yes, but when life happens, life happens. And I've been trying to be a better uncle nowadays, and that's why I'm back in Daytona because I just really wanna spend time with my niece. You know, my younger brother, her other uncle is locked up right now. He's in jail and um, he might be in jail for a while. So I'm really the only other uncle that she has that she can spend time with. So I really am trying to take that serious and start spending more time with her. She plays basketball, which I love. There's no excuse why I shouldn't be over here hanging out with my niece and taking care of her and spending time with her. So I've been trying to do better at that and I'm going to continue to do better at that. But that's why this premiere wasn't on time. I really wanted to come here and spend Halloween with her. We had a fun time. I took her to get her Halloween costume and uh, she, she had a great day yesterday. So that's what it's all about. Remember, you know, work is important, but make sure that you're really making memories with your family and your loved ones because, you know, a job can fire you without warning you or anything. So if you wanna make your job, your priority, that's cool. You can do that because you gotta take care of the ones you love with the job. But always make sure that you take some spare time to see your family and spend time with them, okay? Um, thank you, Ed, for letting me cut your yard. I'm so sorry for intruding on your privacy, sir. I did not mean to do that. I just seriously thought nobody lived here. So, Ed, once again, thank you for allowing me to finish your yard and work on it. And um, I hope you enjoy the work. All right, let's get into this reveal. I hope y'all enjoyed the Michael Jackson stunt that I pulled. <laughs> Let's go.